Let's take a look at how to solve a possible problem that you may not know the answer to just by using some of the clues that are in the answer choices. Here we have a question, what lab values would you expect to see in a patient who is in disseminated intravascular coagulation, or DIC? But the goal is, is not to try to answer that particular question, but let's skip on to the answer choices and see what sort of information does this contain? Choice A says increased fibrinogen and increased platelets. B is decreased fibrinogen and no change in platelets. C, decreased fibrinogen, decreased platelets. And D is no change in fibrinogen and decreased platelets. Now, what are the commonalities that we can identify? As you can see, there's two main sections here. You have this value that's going to change and then you have this value. So this is a great setup when you have two different values for your answer choices. Now if we look, we have at just this side, we have increased fibrinogen, two decreased fibrinogen, and then we have no change in fibrinogen. And so if you say majority rules, then, then these two are likely candidates for the, the, the answer choice that's going to be correct because the person that wrote the practice question is trying to focus on that and they want to throw you off and so they're going to write questions that contain a lot of correct information but may not be correct to make sure you truly understand the subject matter. Now let's look at the, the second section over here. Ignore the first for a moment. We have increased platelets, uh, no change in platelets, decreased platelets, and decreased platelets. So these two would be the ones that have the majority of the responses. So if we come over here we say, well, which one, B and C, have the majority here, and then C and D have the majority here, then that leaves us with C as being the answer choice that contains more of the majority uh, answer choices out, out of the ones you have to choose from. And so if you don't know the answer and you're trying to make an educated uh, guess, and you, or maybe you know some part of the, the answer, maybe you know what this value should be, but you don't know what this one, you can look at how the other answer choices stack up, and that would lead you to choose choice C as the correct answer choice.